During the time and life of the prophet Elijah, drought filled the land. There had not been any rain for years. The Israelites' crops died, their animals died, and they became hopeless. This drought was sent from God because of their disobedience and that of their evil king Ahab. King Ahab hated God. He also hated Elijah, who was a prophet and messenger of God. One day, Elijah came before King Ahab to tell the king what God was going to do. When the king saw Elijah, he became very angry and said, What do you want? You are just a troublemaker. Elijah looked at the king with stern disappointment and said, No, King Ahab, you've rejected God and followed idols. God is going to show you that he alone is God. Bring all your false and wicked prophets with you and meet me on top of Mount Carmel. On Mount Carmel, Elijah built an altar to the one true God, Yahweh. He told Ahab's wicked prophets to build their own altar to their false god, Baal. Then Elijah said, Here are the rules. You put a bull on your altar, and I will put one on mine. Then we both pray. I will pray to the true living God, Yahweh, and you can pray to your false god, Baal. If Yahweh is the real true God, he will send fire down from heaven and burn up the altar. If Baal is a real God, he will send fire from heaven and burn up your altar. Then the contest began. The wicked false prophets of Baal started first. They prayed, yelled, shouted, and even started hurting themselves. But nothing happened. Then they decided to shout louder, cry louder, and dance more. But still, nothing happened. Baal was not a real god, and all the people of Israel saw this. Then it was Elijah's turn. To make sure all the people saw this miracle, Elijah took twelve buckets of water and threw it on the altar. The altar was now soaking wet, making it impossible for a fire to burn on top of it. Then Elijah started to pray. Lord, show these wicked people that you are the only true living God. Suddenly, the heavens opened up and a mighty column of fire exploded from the sky onto Elijah's altar. As the fire started to burn up the entire altar, the people of Israel became silent. They knew then that Yahweh was the only true God. The people were in shock and fell down on their faces before God. They knew the truth. So they shouted, The Lord, He is God. The Lord, He is God. They knew they sinned and asked God for forgiveness. That day, Elijah and the people of Israel chased away and killed the wicked false prophets who hated God. They made sure that these wicked teachers would never again spread the false news about their false gods. Baal was just a piece of stone with no life. But God was the real one true God. And that day, everyone saw God's great power.